Joining me on the Vodafone stand is Joanna Wood, Head of Network APIs for Vodafone. Joanna, how are you? I am very good. Day three, still standing, but yeah, all good. Really good. Thank you very much. So talk to me about what have been some of your best moments or some of your highlights of the show so far. Absolutely. So yesterday, I was actually over at the Old Fera, mm -hmm. which has been hosting what's called the Talent Arena. Okay. Completely different vibe from this uh, from this Fera here. So it's all about developers. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had fabric wristbands, the average age was much younger, it was full of teenagers, I felt very, very old, raves going on at the end of the day, but what's really exciting is that there was the hackathon happening, we had 21 teams competing using Vodafone's APIs on the Nokia Network as Code platform, and I was lucky enough to be one of the judges, so I was looking at all the different things, different apps that the, the developers have been coming up with in their teams, and then we awarded the winner at the end of day yesterday, it was really great, it was a really good to see the energy in the room and a whole different generation coming through using our services. Yeah, that's the great thing about a hackathon, isn't it? I do love a hackathon. So many great ideas really come out to the forefront, don't they? Honestly, it was we've had these APIs for a while. Mm. We're quite familiar with the kind of things that they could do, and then suddenly you put them into the hands of a whole new, I mean, generation to be honest, and a whole new set of teams, and it was such an interesting set of solutions and services we had uh, we had products for trains being on time, we had products for keeping your kids safe right the way through to fraud, so really interesting to see, uh, but, but really energising to see kind of the art of the possible and a fresh kind of perspective on it. Yeah, absolutely. So for anyone watching who has no idea what a network API is, talk me through that. Sure, and I totally don't blame you on that topic. So really, really simple. Network APIs are all around what are the things that our network can do from a configuration point of view. So could we make your speed go faster on your phone or prioritize your traffic right the way through to are there things that we know about you as a network? Maybe your age? Could we verify you? Could we help you fill in your address when you're doing a form? So what are the different services that we can offer the developer community so that when they're building apps like Airbnb or Pay PayPal or even something new and small that's just growing up, how can we help make that customer experience better, frictionless, so that you're not always maybe having to put in a username and password, but you could use your phone number to authenticate straight away through onto the network and get going with your checkout or that thing that you want to buy in the basket even quicker. Yeah, so it's about arming software developers, um, the ability to create applications that communicate over a network. Exactly that, and it could be anything. So we have quality on demand, which is all about how we make the network experience better, right the way through to identity APIs, location services, so all sorts of things. And, and our role is really to engage in that conversation and you tell us what would be useful for us to provide and we'll make it super simple for you to use. Yeah, and there's just so many possibilities, right? So what is the role of network APIs when it comes to driving innovation? And can you give me a, a few more examples? Totally. So my, my accountability, if you like, is to make sure that we stop using telcoese all the time. Let's take out the complexity of the network and make sure that any developer coming out of school, university, or that's working in a different industry can understand what these services are we're talking about and that we have spaces where we can work with them to discover the services and make them super, super simple. Yeah. So that's really our main focus is uh, to make it just as easy as possible for yeah. developers to use those services. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's on the horizon? What's in the future of network APIs? We've done a lot uh, at the moment which are quite informational services uh, and that's really great, they've gone really well, we have a lot of work there with the finance sector and with e-commerce but we're starting to look at the art of the possible on really changing the experience that the network can give you and that's really what's going to come over the next couple of years. We've got a couple of demos on the stand here today to kind of give an idea of the art of the possible but that's where it starts to get really, really interesting. Yeah. It sounds like you've got an exciting few years ahead, Joanna. Best of luck with everything and thank you for taking the time to talk to me. That's great. Thank you very much.